5.1 million journeys are expected to take place over the course of the weekend in both London and around the UK, with many people heading off uh, to countries abroad, but also to other areas of the UK outside of London, meaning that there will be quite a bit of travel disruption throughout the next few days. Uh, when it comes to the airports, there's around 2 million heading abroad. Uh, Heathrow has around 440,000 passengers heading out. Gatwick, uh, 311,000. And Stansted, just a bit less at around 100,000. Uh, when you consider that there's around 200,000 journeys daily, that's passengers going in and out of the airports, that just really shows you how many people are heading off for a little bank holiday break, perhaps staying a bit further on until the school term start again later on next month. Uh, the Channel Tunnel and ports also expected to be uh, highly in demand, which will put pressure on uh, stations like King's Cross, which will have people heading off on the Eurostar, and uh, ports like Dover, which will have people heading off to other countries uh, in Europe. Uh, it's all expected to bring around 1.3 billion to the economy over the course of the weekend, but there are concerns for passengers who are heading off over the course of this bank holiday. Uh, rail trouble could bring uh, a lot of upset to people heading out of the capital. As you uh, know, there's southern timetables have been changed, which means that people will be having to cram onto less trains throughout the course of the weekend, which means that there might be a lot of crowds, a lot of upset people with those people heading out to places like Brighton. Uh, the rail network is also having around a thousand extra engineering projects over the course of the weekend to take advantage of supposedly less people travelling over the course of the bank holiday. Of course, most people know that there are, in fact, more people travelling uh, over the course of a bank holiday weekend, but uh, the rail network Network, especially Network Rail, are taking the opportunity to make those uh, crucial updates to their rail network. Uh, roads also exceptionally busy, especially in London, with people trying to get out of the capital to areas like the southwest. We've already heard reports of immense backups uh, all the way from places like Cornwall all the way to London. That's huge amounts of traffic. Now, the advice uh, from people like the AA, uh, they say that this is the worst day to travel Saturday, uh, that there are 10 million road journeys expected to take place uh, across the capital's roads. Uh, uh, traffic building up over Friday, but most people leaving today. Their advice is, especially with the hot weather, try and stay cool, try and keep your windows open as often as you can, bring water. And uh, uh, To be honest, it's going to be a busy day for many people, so just stay calm and leave a longer journey than you'd expect. So just make sure you have enough time to head off, and that's the advice from most travel organisations over the course of the weekend.